So today we are trying to explain our development of development of hexagonal prism. So myself Ravi Kumar T and Santosh S G Vinay Kumar, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, Bangalore. So this is a hexagonal prism. So hexagonal means or uh, six sides. All six sides are equal dimensions. So thirty, 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 thirty. So we will consider base is thirty mm. And height of the hexagonal prism is 70 mm. So, if you're looking from top of an object, it looks like a hexagonal. All six sides are in equal dimension. See, all six sides are in equal dimension. And if you're looking from top of an object, the diagonal lines are invisible. So, try to use to draw diagonal lines. Try to use thin line means projection line. Use projection line. So, next, if you're looking from Front of an object, it look like a rectangle. It look like a rectangle, and this edge is going to overlap with the axis, so that you will get here visible edge in the middle. Okay, then height of the height of the hexagonal prism is 70 mm. So, and if go for naming. So, this is a top face, and this is a bottom face. So, bottom face will go to do naming A one, B one, C one, D one, E one, and F one. So, top face A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So, similarly, we'll do A A one, B B one, C C one, D D one, E E one, F F one. Okay. Then E E one. And before that, we need to explain. We need we need we need to know how to construct pentagon hexagonal prism hexagonal. So, take a 30 mm, okay. Three box, take a three box and construct a circle, okay. Then draw vertical line. If you draw vertical line, you will get edge condition. If you draw horizontal line, you will get corner condition. So draw vertical line. Then place, take a reference two points in here and here. So from here you just cut an arc and cut an arc again from here. Cut an arc, cut an arc. Then join the this point, then arc this arc to this, then. Point then arc arc so you'll get hexagonal okay so the naming a one a a one b b one c c one d d one e e one f f one and o o one is origin point see remember these diagonal lines are invisible lines okay use better use thin line next is you know this is a front view of a hexagonal prism so construct A front view of hexagonal prism. So similarly, in the pentagonal, what you see, see uh, if you're looking from front of an object, A one is visible, F one is invisible. Similarly, B one is visible, E one is invisible, C one is visible, D one is invisible. See here, A A one A one dash, F one dash, B one dash, E one dash, and O one dash, C one dash, and D da D one dash. Similarly, A F B E C D. Okay, this is the naming and front and top view of hexagonal prism. So next, we'll go for development of hexagonal prism. See, if you if you expand this, if you expand the development of if you expand the hexagonal prism, it look like this. See here, one, two, three, four, five. Five sides are in 30 mm, and off this side and off this side. Okay, then I'll take. 5 mm, 5 mm for seaming and extra 5 mm for bending. See, now we'll need to find out the total length of the development. So, total length to find a total length, we need to know number of sides, length of base, and seaming. So, number of sides is how much? Six. Length of base is how much? Thirty. And then seaming will take five plus five means two sides. Then plus five for bending. So, total length of the Development is 195 mm. So because we'll take all dimensions are in mm. So that's why we'll mention in the mm. See, after that we need to go for development of hexagonal prism. So to draw development of hexagonal prism, first take total length. So 195 mm total length first take. After that, take 5 mm for bending, 5 mm for seaming. See, 5 mm, 5 mm for bending and 5 mm for seaming. Then after that. From here you take 1.5 because off off in the first side, so take 1.5. Next from here you take 30 mm means three box. Next you take 30. Next 30. Next 30. Next to 30. So total 5 30 and 2 15 15. So this is a 15. And then next 5 mm for seaming. So total length of the hexagonal prism development of hexagonal prism is 195. Okay. So next. Take height is 70 mm. So consider this height of the development is 70 mm. So this is 70 mm. Okay. So this is the practical 
this is the theoretical how to construct development of hexagonal prism so next we'll go for it in construct in the sheet metal okay so next uh, vinay our colleague vinay will continue the thing okay see so first draw on straight line okay because the length of the uh, you know i length of the this prism will length of the sheet metal will not be same so 95 is not there so that's why i draw on straight line then select one reference point there select one reference point so from that you take 90 degree from the protector because you will not uh, not get the straight line so to get the straight line you take uh, 90 degree then draw one reference line with a 70 mm length similarly you do it in the other side the same 70 mm length let's join the two points okay so now <coughs> place the points so first is point 5 next point 5 next 1.5 point 5 next 3 next 3 next 3 3 until end of next 1.5 next is 0.5 okay so next use uh, you can use parallel line or you can use uh, protector also take a 90 degree in all the points so after that very easy to join the lines this completes development next we'll go for cutting operation so for doing the development of this hexagonal prism we'll go we'll use the tools called was wooden mallet nose player next side snip okay so next we'll go for the cutting operation so with the help of uh, side snip So we will be careful. So we will cut complete thing. Only we will retain the development of uh, hexagonal prism. Next, we cut the groove operation. for only you know uh, reference see first this is the you know this is only for reference because first you need to bend one side and other other side you need to bend in the opposite direction so, no side 
we required a reference that's why we cut the groove operation so we need to bend in opposite direction second so this is the thing so first one direction another side in different direction so next okay so next first is 1.5 3 next 3 next 3 next 3 next 3 join so with the help of nose player you press in the both hands because it will, it will get locked This is the hexagonal prism, development of hexagonal prism. Thank you.